Hi everyone, Bob Mesocoma here. This week, Mike Heath and I will take you on a tour of Winter, Wisconsin, and along the way, introduce you to some folks that call it home. This portion of Simply Fishing is brought to you by Shimano, featuring the Calcutta Reels, and by Pose, maker of the original giant jackpot. You say we're dealing with some vegetation out here, Mike? Yes. Comes up. Stump? That'll get your attention. <laughs> All right, so I know there's fish here. The guy's on point. <laughs> we'll get that. We'll get you dislodged there, and then I'm going to turn the boat and come back around. I think what he's trying to tell us, folks, is he's got a flats out here behind us. He's hiding some cabbage on top of it. He just set up on a stump right there. We're on Winter Lake in Wisconsin. There's a lot of stumps beneath the water. So we're going to be working in and out of stump rows as we go along. That's a mighty fine hook set there. I like that. One and only. That was a mighty fine hook set. <laughs> I've learned if you don't send the news right away, <laughs> they don't get the message. They huh? don't get the message. <laughs> A little cloud coming in. We're starting to come into that miner too. Let's get you uh, get you dislodged here. I imagine you buried those things in there pretty good. Yeah, it barely touched it. I thought it was a fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These glide baits, that'll happen. Yeah. Just tap tap that timber down there and kaboom. I'm gonna keep this jackpot up on top so it's a lot safer than what you're throwing beneath the surface. You never know. Can you see it down there? Not yet. Well, we'll get her disconnected. But you're saying this flats, as we're working on getting your lure off, this flats comes out kind of like right where that water's rippling right there? Yep. Okay. Comes out, drops off into about seven feet of water. About seven feet right there, huh? Great so place to hold fish. Oh yeah, especially in this dark water like this, they'll fall off those edges. Can you get her? Yep, there she okay, comes. Okay, good. I'm going to turn us, okay? Yeah, we should cut in here and go right out onto the where the point drops off. Yeah, I'll turn this and we'll just go right around here and just make a run down. Yeah. How's that sound? Usually the vegetation is up a lot better by this time of year, but with the late spring, it seemed to be about two weeks behind. Uh-huh. We've noticed that all season that it has been behind. So if I make a long one right basically off the front of the boat, I'm going to be thrown right over that edge, huh? Yeah. There we go. Way out there. Yep. Well, she just come up and hammered it, too. Need a net? Pardon? You need a net? Uh, we'll take a look, see. I'm guessing 36, 35 maybe. I have no idea how well she's hooked. She just, she just kind of doggy boned it, you know? Net it or? Uh, let's see if we can hand grab her. She's not that big. Okay, come here, girl. Let me see you. Hang tight, hang tight. Just, just stay there. Just stay there. Come here, girl. Come here. Oh, we got you, huh? Oh, we got you. Come here. You're in good shape. Okay, okay, here we go. I want to see her real quick? Sure, it's a pretty fish. We sure upset that little doggy in there though, didn't we? Yes, we did. She's pretty. Those spots down that lateral line, are they defined or what, huh? 
I'm gonna get her back before she decides to go nuts, though. <laughs> She's out of here. You called that one right, right up on top of that flat. Always holds fish. I see we got our dog up there all torqued off, though. Well, what do you say we go on down the lake and get another? That's jackpot. That's midday fish. 12, 20 in the afternoon. Lunchtime. I don't want to tell you, but the miner started at 12, 20 this afternoon. This portion of Simply Fishing is brought to you by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Video Ray, going where no other underwater camera dares to go. Muskies Inc., like any other organization, realizes that competition exists for financial support. That's exactly why Muskies Inc. has strived to offer its members and the Muskie community programs that work. Please consider supporting Muskies through Muskies Incorporated. Call 1-888-710-8286. The norm in winter is to get a great start at a local cafe where piping hot breakfasts are on the menu, accented by hot coffee and fresh juices. While we were in town, we were fortunate enough to meet many different people from the surrounding area who indicated that the crummy weather we were experiencing was brought on by our presence. It's a near fact among locals that the weather in winter is almost always perfect. After a hot pot of coffee or two and exchanging of a few fish stories, it was time to devise plans that would make our visit to winter a fruitful one. Fact be known, winter is legendary in the fishing world and is blessed with locals that have made it so. Later on, you'll meet one of those locals who I found most interesting. That gentleman you were talking about that I mentioned before, that's uh, Clint Peterson up on one of the little local lakes. Uh -huh. He fishes muskies with suckers and I know you don't don't particularly care about live bait, and I don't either, but he does it without a hook. Without a hook? Without a hook. He believes in letting the fish have it for 10 to 12 minutes, reeling it in slow. The fish has got a hold of the sucker, and he's really? hooks the net around it. Okay, it's very got, interesting. But he's got some stories to tell, too. Oh, huh? he does. He's got some great this stories. Is, this is on one of the lakes we're going to fish today? Yes, it is. How many? This is the rod he's fishing for. This is the rod. Now, this is going to replace our... Shimano Compres and our TEs for sure. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about how you how you use this rod because it's pretty unique. And and he's doing something that's really he's fishing live bait, but well, I'll let you tell the story. Okay, I fish with live bait, no hooks because I don't want to hurt the muskie. And when the muskie hits the pole, I throw the pole in the water. I watch it as it takes off keep time, watch the fish, how it reacts in the water, and when it's time, after I get about 10 to 11, 12 minutes, then I'll go over, gently pick the pole up, and really lead that fish right to the dip net. Really? <laughs> Last fall, I lost one, I had it in the dip net, and I got arthritis in my wrist, and I couldn't lift the net up. So the fish swam out, oh shucks. So I put the sucker back in the water, comes back and nails it again. <laughs> Instead of switching hands, I kept the same way and I swam back out again. I hit it in the dip net twice. That was a good four footer. <laughs> what, what Clint said was really kind of interesting to me is, and he and I both picked up on the fact that muskies generally scale their food before mm -hmm. they eat it. Mm -hmm. But Clint was saying he's observed in the fall, mm -hmm. they don't scale it. Mm -hmm. They just turn it and eat it or right. just eat it. Right. Sometimes they don't even turn it. No. No, no, they'll always turn it. They'll always turn it. Always head first. Yeah. Down they'll go. And that's why I've started fishing without hooks. Instead of using the 13, the 2s, and that size, or circle hooks, I went with no hook. No hook. No hook. And I've caught more muskies with hooks in them, and I'll put them in my soccer box uh -huh. to see how they're going to do. Come up in the morning, they swim off. Really? The, the suckers are gone. They're laying in the bottom of the sucker box. Fish is good. Dump them in. Away it goes. Right. Not only is Winter, Wisconsin a great destination for muskie fishing, it's also blessed with some of the best multi-species fishing to be found throughout the state. Winter, Wisconsin offers many thrills for young and old alike. Prepare yourself while in winter to experience deer and other popular forms of wildlife. As winter settles in, deer and bear hunting become prime attractions in the area followed closely by ice fishing and snowmobiling. 
Annually, countless inches of powder blanket the evidence of summer life, ensuring a grand snowmobiling experience. Ice fishing is a very popular winter activity with pike, bass, walleye, and panfish as targets. It's nearly impossible not to catch a few on the frozen surface of the many lakes in the winter area. As you can see here, Jason Callis, our producer, is fond of panfish, with crappie being among his favorites. However, it's muskies we seek, and Mike Heath is our man. Mike is typical of the folks in the winter area. As a longtime resident, he is kind, knowledgeable, and passionate about his surroundings. He is both an educator and a guide, one that is equally concerned about you catching a muskie as he is about teaching you in the process. If a question were to arise, Mike has the answer. If weather provokes a slowdown in fish activity, Mike changes lakes or gears to continue his pursuit of your success. In short, Mike is tight. a consummate professional, as were all the residents we met while in winter Wisconsin. 61-3. There we go. To that, Bob? Was she hammered that manta or what, huh? Yeah, out of nowhere. Right at the boat. <coughs> come here, girl. Come here, come here. She might even go away here. Get a little of that pea and vinegar out of her, though. Come here. Yeah, there you go. See, that one's really green. Pretty fish. Really, really green. I'm gonna get her back out, huh? Yeah, nice fish. Man, she hammered that manta right at the side of the boat. <laughs> okay, babe, thank you. I was just saying how cold that water was. And it is cold, too. Yes, the cold front didn't help us out at all. No. Now, yesterday, folks, we were absolutely pushed off the water with severe rains, cold, cold rains. Going to a real lazy, lazy running jerkbait, a manta, kind of swinging it real slow back and forth back to the boat. And that one there ate right at the boat. I had a guy ask me this morning at breakfast in town if I ever figure eighted. You know, the water up here on this particular lake is very dark. The figure eight could be advantageous. I didn't need a figure eight on that particular case because the lure swings side to side so dramatically. When it comes in at that last swing at the side of the boat, it's that nice L turn. This portion of Simply Fishing is brought to you by Shimano and the full family of Compre rods and by Western Filaments Tough XP with tension lock technology. That was kind of cool. She's going wah, 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 wah. Yeah. See if we get us a bigger one, huh? Absolutely. Finding Winter Wisconsin is as easy as traveling down Highway 70. Simply set your sights on Northwest Wisconsin while traveling Highway 70 and you can't help but witness the heart of this truly inviting city known as Winter Wisconsin. To contact the folks in winter, simply call 1-800-762-7179. They'll be more than happy to answer your travel-related questions. Our products on today's show included Shimano's Compre rods, primarily in the 6 foot and 6 foot 6 extra heavy versions. Our reels consisted of Shimano's Calcutta and Calcutta TEs demonstrating total efficiency. Our lines were Western Filaments Tough XP in 65 pound test. Our lure choices included the original Post Giant Jackpot and the Manta from River Run Tackle. And our nets were the Beckman Musky Magnum model MMY4. comes.
Running out of room, buddy. Nice fish. As you have witnessed, Mike and I have been moving from lake to lake on this show, trying to experience as much of the winter area as possible. Our conditions went from incredibly cold to a slight warming trend back to cold in just a few days. Our lake choices varied from very weedy rice-covered systems to a variety of cabbage and stumps found within Winter Lake proper. As I said earlier, Mike is a consummate guide with the knowledge and ability to move around, always trying to keep you on fish. Down to the front. 